Hello everyone, I'm Valentin Radu and welcome to the second episode of the e-commerce growth course. Today we're going to speak about funnel analysis. How do we analyze a funnel? I hope you all know what a funnel is. It's that thing that you need to pour soda into a big, bigger bottle. No, I'm kidding. It's uh, that thing that we constantly need to adjust and monitor and uh, make it bigger on the bottom. So, how usually an um, e-commerce visitor is uh, converting? So, first of all, we have the demand generation part, right? So, we attract them with banners, with SEO, with uh, all types of uh, email campaigns and whatever. So, we are not going to chat about the demand generation. We're, we're going to chat about the steps that a visitor needs to go through in order to convert. So, let's let's pretend for the sake of uh, the example that your demand generation works like a charm so what we should focus on to, to make that uh, e-commerce grow so we are visitors which are landing on your website and the landing page can be exactly like the product page can be the category page can be the home page or special uh, landing pages that you craft in order to attract visitors and uh, let's presume we have 250,000 visitors. So this is uh, the, the moment where you should definitely focus on the conversion rate optimization. So after the visitors are landing on your web page, they have certain ways to get to your product page. So they, if the landing page is not exactly the product page, they are on a category page so they can filter or they can search so that they get to the products if they are on the home page or on any other listing page they should click on certain products and of course they should search so depending of the behavior you have only three ways to direct your visitors to the product page the click the search and the filter and all of those are our rates, are micro conversions that you need to monitor. So you need to monitor the click through rate, you need to monitor the search rate, you need to monitor the filter usage rate. And of course, you need to monitor this. Let's pretend the product view rate out of the total session, the total visits is 30%. So unless you, you, you're, not, you're not monitoring it, you, you can't improve. And that means mainly that you will need to measure and monitor and adjust constantly. So after the we, we take into account this 30%, we are going to become much more aware about why the conversion rate is that 1% or 2%. Because if only 30% of the visitors are actually taking a look at a certain product, that means 3.3% of the visitors which are seeing a product are actually buying it. So what types of triggers, what types of leverages can you use in order to grow the, the revenue and the conversions? So that's a question you will need to ask yourself. But first, monitor this thing. This is very important. So imagine you have a, a normal store. So you go into a, a store which is selling shoes but people are just wandering around and they are not actually taking a, a step towards the product. So depending on the type of e-commerce that you have, you will need to analyze the behavior, the prior behavior, so that the visitors are getting to your product. They, they might need the, to use the filters. In fashion, for instance, it's very important the, the measure, the sizes, yeah? So if you don't have the size filter or if you're not placing it where it needs to be to become much more visible, then you are not doing the right thing. After that, you have that search rate, click-through rate, and filter usage rate. From the products to cart page, you, you have the add to cart rate. And of course, you need to monitor it. In this uh, example, it's 8%. So that means only 8% of your visitors are uh, actually adding uh, products to cart. But if you take a look, 8 out, out of 30, that means almost a quarter are uh, adding items to cart. So after you monitor this and after you check it, 
you have the checkout, right? So people which are seeing your order, so depending on how big, yeah, how tall the, your funnel is, you need to take into account if you have one step or two steps or even three steps checkout. Which ones are, uh, which one is the best for you? If you don't test it, you'll never know. After you have the cart page, then you have the rate, which is very important, the cart abandonment rate. And here are all sorts of tactics that you can take into account. For instance, you can place an exit intent survey so that you find, for the, find out why the visitors are not converting. So what stops them? What kind of barriers do they have? Unless you know that, you will not be able to move the needle and grow the, the conversion. So, till now, maybe it's clear, maybe it's not, but I will restate this for you to make it even clearer, more clear. If you don't measure something, you can't improve it. In order to, to measure things, you need to analyze and to zoom in on the small factors which are generating the growth of your uh, e-commerce. So that's why all sorts of rates that you see here are hugely important because they are all affecting this rate, the conversion rate. So it's like a domino. So the, the ones which are before the, the last one are moving each other. So mainly you need to constantly monitor them and come up with strategies to move them. So after you do this funnel analysis, then you will know what happens on your website and the next step is going to be in the next episode thanks for watching see you later